responsibility to share what we do. Uh, I will do, I'll try to do a, an overview. Uh, I will not go in the details of everything, but it would be, would be fantastic to, to share with you guys everything you, you would like to, to know about what we do uh, after the talk. So I would like to give an idea and the philosophy behind what, what we do, what we're trying to do. Um, I think when I was preparing the presentation, ah, sorry, because I have a strong, uh, heavy cold, so maybe my voice, I'm a little so <coughs> I'll try to do my best. One key thing, key word, I think, um, behind the philosophy of what we are trying to do is freedom. Um, common, <coughs> I'm sorry, a common um, definition for that is related to the ability to act or change with no constraints. We could say that something is free if it can change easily. And it's not constrained, but it, 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 in its present state or, or the way it is, <coughs> that is what we are trying to do uh, in small talk. Um, one, one immediate thing we know, just to give some context, is small talk, S8, small talk, S8, sorry, small talk in particular, it's not the syntax, neither the execution machinery it's running on top of. No? Even more in, in S8, in S8 small talk, we provide extensions um, to the current small talk syntax whenever we want to express or access something at the lower levels of execution machinery. Um, for instance, I will give you some uh, examples. We can, with uh, some curly brackets, put some in line, uh, for instance, low level uh, language code or access different um, levels of um, global levels, um, this kind of things, or access a, a native handle or object. And this continue being, it's, it's still small talk. And why? As we run on, on top of low level execution machinery, that is not opaque, there are times we want to express or access something at the lower levels of the execution engine. And the, X, the S8 small talk compiler supports small numbers of extensions to small talk syntax to access uh, objects in native layers. I put there uh, the number because, I mean, of course, we know. I mean, information hiding is a facility imposed to let us not be distracted by underlying mechanisms. No. When and only when, we do not want to. But if we need something, we can put the volume, okay, aside, and then act as encapsulating and having all the information hiding, of course. Another thing we, we think as the philosophy of in a site is that I w we want our objects to be uh, capable of interacting with the resources, no? in the computational resources in the platform we are running in, into. For instance, the, I mean, the barcode scanner, a camera, a whatever, no? all the things we have, for instance. And of course, support the APIs we need. Um, an example, for instance, and how would be just to get a little more in the everyday thing in, in a site. Uh, for example, an Android API, you have the native Android API, okay? Uh, and we want to have, of course, the, the native object behavior in a site. Uh, what we do is, this is something straightforward. Um, what, would, what we would do is we open, and this is what I do every day when I work, for instance, in, in particular with Android, when building on, on, on Android, I just open the, the place where the, the API is, the API, sorry, is. I open the Android developer to learn the API, to, to look for the API, <clears throat> and immediately I write, and this is good, this is cool, I write S8 builders that will generate the S8 wrappers on native objects. Uh, and we use these builders, we specify these builders, in, in, in some seconds I will show you an example, to minimize errors, uh, instead of having to write the wrapper method, because you have the S8, okay, the S8 uh, object, and then you have the, in the case, when you are uh, wrapping a, a native object. Um, so for instance, let me show you an example of how we write this. 
here have for instance um, imagine you want to have want to have a, a SQ light for instance or whatever so we have these builders and the, and the SA compiler at building time what I mean what do I mean by building time the the image okay it's nothing like nothing but a, a string okay string so if for instance I'm uh, running on top of a, a JavaScript machinery okay so it will generate the image at building time I can show you afterwards it's very easy it's very straightforward a dot GS okay that will be the the what will run the generated code that will run on the on the on the machine so the compiler will turn all this spec okay this is like little like the the syntax of J JSON so I write this and then I will have something like this for instance here I'm browsing the, my phone I'm connected to my phone I have opened the <coughs> S SH system here in my Android let me show you. I can use a tool we have to show you my what is in, in my phone. You can see, for instance, okay. And I'm browsing here. In a while, I will tell you how do I browse that and why is this possible in a site. Um, so, just to to give an, an idea. So I wrote the the <coughs> the builder. And the compiler will generate the methods. Okay, this is the method. Okay, this is very simple. You know, this will. I mean, this the handle is the native object. In this case, as I am in Android, the native object will be a Java object. But I want to continue this with the the overview. So we use builders, and it's, it's straightforward to to extend or add the the native behavior or even the library you need. You know, you add the library and then you add the API. Um, and from a foundation point of view, we, we also want to provide the foundation support to access objects transparently, regardless the execution context and, exe and the, this combination. No? An execution machine or platform combination where a search run, a uh, objects run into. What would you refer? For instance, I can be running on top of JavaScript in Windows, or on top of JavaScript running on uh, Android, or, for instance, I can be uh, on top of Lua, okay, a machinery running in Windows or in Android, and all the combinations, okay. And I would like a means to have these S8 systems running in this pair execution context platform to be able to interact and we can do that this in in a site for instance when I show you and I will show you another example um, of course after the presentation I can open and, and, and share everything um, where I was on JavaScript okay in, in Windows and I was accessing browsing something in what that in particular was on JavaScript in, in Android so I'm communicating one SH system that is running in Windows to another SH system running in uh, Android. So, um, the fact of having this layer supporting this transparent access provides, and this is obvious, but I would like to point out, a means to build tools for interacting transparently with objects. Because how could I do that? Because I have, a, I have tools, I have, as I have it, let me show you. This is, for instance, have some images. Here, I have, uh, of course, my browser. I have my my workspace. This is we call this the you are uh, the, the screen where I can see the screen of in another device of an ours remote SH system. Um, so all this layer let me <coughs> um, build the, build these tools because. For instance, let me show you. Here, I have 
my my phone and I'm browsing my phone so I could connect using this tool, the connect tool. That's what I refer by by the tools. Um, in a moment I will tell you I will show you an example of systems interacting. So as I was saying, an SH system can run on multiple execution engines. Hence we're gonna have in interacting SH system, SH system running on different platform, combination of platform and execution machine combinations, no? Um, for instance, this is what the I want, would like to show you. For instance, just as an example, you can have I mean three SH systems. System SH system one running on Windows platform on top of JavaScript machinery. I, ha I can have another SH system running on Windows on top of Lua machinery. Uh, in in particular, in particular, the the case I mean you you, you have to find a a device or or or, or a platform, uh, sorry, or execution context where the site will run into. Uh, for instance, Lua Studio, which is a context that runs Lua, and another site system <coughs> running on Android. <coughs> so, how can I do that? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I was working on. Let's. Close this. This is this is Lua Studio. Okay. Okay. What I do here is to to load the generated code by the compiler, the Lua code from DSI, for instance. And for instance, this is this is an example we wrote in S8 small doc. Um, Running on Lua, uh, and I Im imagine I want to interrupt this. This is this is what what, what do we have here. We have an S8 system completely written in in, in S8 small doc. In small doc, and imagine I want I would this is running in particularly on on Windows, and I would like to interact with this system from Win Windows platform, for instance, uh, but on, from JavaScript. So, here I have it. I was working on something on mobile framework here. And for instance, here, let me show you how you do that. This is, I open for instance, uh, let me use an R because there, this, is, this image is a mess. So, let me open another. Here I open the, uh, the workspace and you, we can see that we have this SH system running in in this environment, in this con in this context, which is Lua Studio, running in, in Lua, and also we have a server listening here, which is at this address. So I will connect my tool in a Windows, in a, in an SH system in Windows, running on top of Lua of JavaScript. I have already defined here. So the color change, so everything that happens here in this workplace will not be occurring here, happening here in the in the JavaScript Windows context. I will be virtually uh, interacting with the, the remote system. The remote system, this is another system. So for instance, I have here something I was I think I don't have all the code here, so I will I will do this from here. It's the same. I have file in here. This is the same, okay? So, for instance, I do this. I do want to do it, this. And for instance, you can see some things here. I was working. This is very uh, initial, okay? So I, I modified this environment. So what, what did I do? I could interact, I could modify an SH system, a small talk system that is running on top of Lua in, in a given context, in this case Lua Studio, from an SH system that's running in Windows on top of JavaScript. Okay. 
The same I can do, for instance, let's, I can show you the third system. I have here, I will use the screen tool to see the screen of an SH system running in on Android. Okay, so here I have the, you can see, let me use this tool. Let me close this window. Okay, you can see here, this is just a tool, okay, that let us, let me, for instance, this way, you can see that this is what I have in the phone. If I go to the system browser, okay, here, and then I refresh here, you will see that I'm, I am connecting to the, and I can do the same, for instance, <coughs> I don't know, put, let's put, I mean, whatever, a, a quick list, this is very cool, very cool, ah, sorry, let me refresh here, I can put the automatic refresh, um, where we have sorry, the, the, the chunks and the things you work with. Um, for instance, the, again, <coughs> I am here in, in Windows, <coughs> sorry, in Windows uh, and on top of JavaScript. Here I am in, I have in, on top of JavaScript in, um, <coughs> in Android. And in particular, this is, this is of course a native application. Okay, we, we are using the native widgets, everything. So this is not a, a this is native. Um, so I want to, for instance, I don't know, let's do something like an inspect. Uh, so I will connect here. I think this is the, the one. Uh, yes, I think this is the, so let me write something here. Oh, let's do this. Let's put, I don't know, point, browse. So I, where, am, where am I? I am in my image, in Windows, so on top of JavaScript. And I want to evaluate to this, you know, the color, this color for the, for this tool, for this browser, you can see is this address. This address is my phone here, that it, where the, the server was, is listening. So if I do this, I evaluate. I'm not evaluating in my, in my image, in, uh, in this image, in, in Windows, but here. So if I do this, I do, do it, and I refresh, you can see that I'm uh, connecting. So this is really, really great. Not only because we can build, I mean, have this real interaction between, transparent interaction between SH systems or small talk systems in different <laughs> execution context and platform combination, but also because it is very comfortable and productive to work, for instance, from my desktop, from my, from the, from the, my Windows uh, image, yes, working here. I develop the, the for instance, my, my, nat my native app, my app in, in Android, working from Windows. So, I mean, I, I open, I browse, I modify, I do whatever, what we do usually. Uh, modify, I test, I do everything with all the tools we have here. So this gives you a huge uh, capacity and productivity, and, and you develop fast. This is good. This is, I mean, this is a, a consequence of having this kind of interaction. Okay, but the general case is that you have all these interactions. And um, of course, I will, it will be fantastic to share with you all the, the, tool, the other tools we have, etc. But the, 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 the thing behind this, of course, for instance, let's put, I will put to automatic update here. <coughs> this way, for instance. So, for instance, I, I can enter here. I am in Android. And I want to see. Okay, it's refreshing. Okay, you can see the phone. It's refreshing on time. Um, so. 
when I was talking about freedom in choosing, it's because we really have this possibility. We want um, to interact with the computational resource. We have to get the library. We have to get the API. We have to write the the um, uh, the builder or manually the, the wrapper. I recommend writing the builder. We put did this mo in, in a modular way in a, in a file in the context where the the building of the image is, and you double click, you get the image, and you work. And of course, we can do this previously stat in a static way, or as we are small doggers, we are small dog. We can do it dynamically, of course, whenever you want. I mean, this is obvious. But this this gives you a, a real freedom. It's amazing freedom. The time I take to add some API or, or some another behavior or work in this, uh, I don't find the word in English, I would think, um, heterogeneous, like how you say in English this word, I don't know exactly, it's, it's amazing. So, what is a say to small talk? It's small talk. It's object technology over a network of SH systems running on different targets. Because at the end of the day, it's the same if you're running on Lua, on top of Lua, or JavaScript, or you are in, for, for instance, uh, I can also, um, not only just to make a quote, of course I can connect from any, any SH system to any SH system. Because, in particular, it's, be it's because I have here the tool to do that. Uh, for instance, I could connect also from this my SH system, an SH system running on top on on Android, to an SH system running on iOS. For instance, in particular, how do we, how do I do that? Uh, I would do, for instance, imagine I want to browse. Let me put this so the, the, so the, you can see. Okay, I I have the the system browser opened in in my my phone so and here you can see the the button so here let me it's refreshing i don't know if i put the, the refresher should refresh i don't know why okay here you can see the list of the connections I, I enter here. Uh, so all I have to do is to uh, select the connection where, the, for instance, the, the iOS device is running into. And then I will be browsing from my Android to the end, and vice versa. I can run from the, the R to the, uh, the iOS device, for instance, to here, or if I had, uh, I mean, uh, an SH system listening here in in Windows, I can do the other thing, you know, connect from the. I mean, everything to it. So, to summarize, uh, so each target is defined by a combination of platform and execution machine. Machine, you know, it's, that defines the execution concept, context. It's a way of of looking at that. Of course, so we want to share, interact over this emerging network of SH systems. In particular, we have something very important, which is the U8, which is a, our universe, okay? which is a global repository of resources for development, we say. No? So everything that wants to do a contribution, okay, put he, he or she can put the, the contribution there, so we can interact through that. And this is cool, really cool. Uh, so mid license. Um, so U8 provides a medium to share and show store images, <coughs> and modules, and, and file-based resources. Let me show you. And of course, I, I I invite you to to join us at the group and to to share what we do. It would be great. Um, for instance, in in let me show you to finish. What is the for instance, I, I have here 
I don't know if I'm. Yes. For instance, this is my. I'm logged to. To say this, these are my con my control. So yes, I have. I need only two. Thank you. Uh, so these are some contributions I put. They are these are examples running on in a site on Lua. And um, for instance, this was the Lua Studio. You can see this is an image. This is all this small dog. In particular, we have in this kind, this type of contribution, which is a Lua contribution, you have, I mean, a small, a, a simple tool where you can parameterize here the things to, to execute, okay? To send example to a fire example, okay? Um, I, okay, I can browse here from the, let me, let's me, let me connect to finish from Windows to the um, okay to the Lua Studio um, environment. This was uh, running on in this uh, would be here. Let me find the fire. I think the name is Fire Sample. Fire Sample, yes. Um, fire. Sample. Then I will. I am browsing from JavaScript. Okay, I was very. This is what, what I wrote. What we wrote. Okay. Uh, of course, everything is in uh, written in a site now. So, as a conclusion, what I what I try to share with you is that what we are looking for is to is for the developer to have the freedom to run its objects and in the context he or she needs and have this aside, emerging aside systems, the capacity to interact and to evolve easily. So this would be the idea and it's great to be here to, to be able to share this. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Questions? Yes. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, I have a quick question. Um, do you have you find uh, any? Uh, uh, let me rephrase the question. Sorry. Do you have any systems in production in which you are benef you, you have uh, sure. benefits to to work in this way versus the traditional way, like? Developing each part separate and then like integrating them. You have any examples in production where, where you are using this technology? When you say when you mean the separated this because of my comment that the the, the files the JS file they said this is what we are. No, no, I mean the uh, ah the possibility of if you have a system running uh, in production live where you use this technology that you just show us. Um, I I don't have. Um, I mean, a production system using the interaction between them. What I mainly used, of course, you can use that. Animated thing would be used, would be and this I do. I mean, I don't have in production a system that is running in different. Um, first of all, because I, don't, I do not uh, devote myself to do this kind of development. I just, uh, we just uh, generate this. This um, this work, but we are not doing the, I mean, systems for commercial systems. This is my first answer. The second thing is, uh, what I do is, for instance, some you can download, for instance, from an Android. This is in, in Google Play. The app, this app, um, and for instance, some uh, modifications or, or or updates I can do from uh, another um, context another platform, which is not Android. But the main use I do, as, as I do not do commercial things, uh, is when I develop. The, the main proof. I develop, for instance, in Android from my imaging, very comfortable from my imaging. But it would be the same. I mean, if you have, if you need, uh, I would not say necessarily one part of the system in different platforms. 
maybe you all have the system in one platform, but you need this system for imagine the system to be updated from another platform. So the system is really there, but this could be used by many uses. But in particular, what I can say uh, is that I, I exploit this every day, every day, many hours, uh, when I develop on Android. But I can imagine that we can use this in many, many situations. I don't know if I answered the Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Any other question? Okay, thank you, Felipe. Thanks a lot. Thank you.